This longitudinal data system is an answered prayer for us as teachers. We can divide up and find out what standard particular students need to work on. How long have they been enrolled in the district? What's the training level of the teacher? We're able to look at comparative data for an example, amongst all seventh grade math teachers. The use of data, the use of the technology, it's infectious to the extreme. We, people think in education that data equals a test score, and we are so far beyond that. Quality data is data that's provided in a timely manner, in a format that matters for, and is tailored to specific people's uses, and that people know how to use it. Every state now collects robust data. And in places where stakeholders, from parents to policymakers, are empowered to use that data, we're starting to see results, such as in Denver Public Schools. When I became superintendent of the Denver Public Schools, for some institutions, almost 90% of our kids were having to take remedial math when they reached college. What we've attempted to do is put all useful information in one place, both for district administrators, school administrators, and then of course teachers. On a day-to-day -day basis, it really helps me understand what I need to be working on and where my focus should be, and it's, it's really helpful. So when you capitalize that and you calculate then that return, the return is close to $9 million, which more than exceeds the cost of the project itself. We've actually seen a 30% increase in the last three or four years of kids produced by the Denver Public Schools that are going to college. So it really is the holy grail of all of this. This is one district story and how data made a difference. States and districts working together to empower stakeholders with data to make informed decisions can make these results that are emerging in Denver a reality across the country. Our goal needs to be that if there was a threat of we're going to take your data away, that people would say no. I can't do my job as a parent. I can't do my job as a teacher unless I have access to this information. We have this opportunity to prove that there is incredible value coming out of these systems to the people who need to use it. Changes could come about if more principals had even more measurable and more meaningful post-secondary data. If teachers use it well and if school leaders use it well, students will have a greater chance for success. We're going to get this data to help guide us in very important decisions uh, that we're making. I think we have a fantastic opportunity to leverage technology, take that quantum leap to total student engagement. We need this data and we're going to become a leader. How do you make sure that, that the job's getting done? The answer is data. Frankly, I don't know how anyone manages any big system unless you have a system at the center of it that's measuring performance. The only way that we are going to improve is by having data that informs our decisions so that we can do right by our kids.